Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your Howler controller. I haven't had time to put it incorporated into the Howler config program, so for now, the way we can do it is you go to Atmel's website and download the FLIP program, which basically allows you to upgrade the firmware through the USB port with the USB bootloader. So you can download either with or without the Java runtime engine if you already have it installed. Download this version if you need the whole uh, package, download this. And then you install the FLIP program. Once it's installed, the next thing you need to do is put the controller into programming mode. So in order to do that, you hold down reset switch and power and programming switch at the same time with power applied. And then you remove your finger from the reset switch with your finger still on the programming switch. And then remove your finger from the programming switch and then it should be in programming mode. The way you can tell is if the plus 3.3 and LED powers LEDs are on, and the other two USB init and alive are off, then you know that it's in programming mode. So it's a little tricky to get the driver to work on here, so I have a nice little walkthrough of how to do it. So once it's um, in programming mode, if you the first time you install it, you'll see in device manager it shows up as DFU ATX Mega 128A3U, and I can't find a driver for it. So click that guy, right click, update driver software, and then you want to browse my computer for driver software. And then you want to go to let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And then you want to show all devices. And then have disk. And then you browse to the location that Flip was installed. So in my case, it's under programming files, x86, Atmel, Flip 3.4.7, USB. And then click the Atmel USB DFU INF file. Open it up. Go OK. And then you'll notice in here it doesn't have the exact microcontroller that we're using, the ATX Mega 128 A3U, but it doesn't matter. They're all the same driver, so just pick any one. So I pick AT Mega 16 U4. Go next. And then installing this blah blah blah. Just yes, let's install it. And then it needs to install some software, so install that software. And then it installs the software for to get the USB bootloader working. So now it is finished installing it. So now ATX Mega or AT Mega 128U is there. You'll notice that under Lib USB Win32 devices, that AT Mega 16U4 is working right there. Next thing to do now that the bootloader is working is load the Flip program. So let's run Flip. So first time you run it, you'll see that everything is dimmed out. So first thing you need to do is choose the device. So select target device device you want to choose is the ATX Mega 128A3U. OK. Next thing you need to do is connect to it. So click the guy that looks like USB cable, USB, open. There, we're connected to it. Next thing you need to do is go file. And then we want to load the hex file. So just go to the location you downloaded it to. For now, we're just going to choose Howler V0.202 with a device ID of 6800. Load that up. And then you want to ensure that all of the checkboxes under Operations Floor are checked. And then click Run. And you'll notice Programming, Verifying. There you go. Devices Program. Next thing you need to do is press a Reset button. And you'll notice the USB noise doo 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 doo. It has now detected that the Howler controller is installed. So if you go under Human Interface Devices, there's a bunch in there because the Howler controller is a mouse, keyboard, and two USB joystick devices. So if we go into Devices and Printers, Howler controller is in there, Game Controller Settings. Let's look at the properties for the first controller. As you can see, X, Y, and Z are, are on the accelerometer. If I Play around with it, you can see that it works. So that's pretty much how you uh, upgrade the firmware on the Howler controller. If anyone has any questions, just send me an email. Thanks. Bye.